you're safe, smart, healthy, uh, you, you can invent stuff, and you know, you can drink when you're 18. Sounds good to me. <laughs> you know, there's some videos I make where I just feel like I have to bring it back. And this might be one of them. Bam, looky there. The socks are back, baby. Got the old Union flag colors, oh yeah. You know what, no, it ain't stopping there either. We're making this video a whole ass party, all right? Lizzie. Well, if it ain't my old pal, Elizabeth, what's going on? You gonna try to stand today? Hey, Lizzie, we're not doing yoga, why you been doing yet? Oh yeah, it's a JT Reacts video now. <laughs> what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new reaction and today we're watching 10 reasons why the UK is the best country in the world. That's a heck of a title. I say it all the time, if I didn't live here in Kentucky, the other place I would want to live is the UK. It seems dope, it really does. Through the videos and through what everybody tells me and doing my own research, the UK is one of the top places in the world. And these are 10 reasons why it is the best in the world. We're about to get into it. Garden to the channel, hit that subscribe button, actually, the day we are recording this, we just hit 93,000 subscribers. Round of applause, bro. Shout out to y'all. Absolutely crazy, bro. That means we are officially under 7,000 subscribers away from 100K. That's insane. I love you guys so much. I really do. I'm going to try to go hard. I'm going to try to start uploading some straight bangers. Probably not every day. I don't know. I don't want to commit to a like an everyday upload schedule. But my birthday is September 26th, and I would love to absolutely go hard for the next month and try to hit 100K before my birthday. I don't know. There's only one way to start, and that's by making videos. So let's get to it. Just in case you didn't know, the United Kingdom is a sovereign country. It is a nation within its own government and has a seat at the United Nations. Its full name is the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Great Britain that just rolls off the tongue, don't it? <laughs> is a large island that contains Scotland, England and Wales. And then the United Kingdom contains Northern Ireland too. Hey guys. Bro, where has that graphic been my entire life? Like that's just, that's how you explain it right there. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> England and Wales, and then the United Kingdom contains Northern Ireland too. Hey guys, Sam here from the Geography Bible. I hope you are having a fantastic week wherever in the Thank world you. you may be. In this video, Today. we will give you 10 reasons why we think the UK as a whole is the greatest nation or nations in the world. Now, of course, just like any other country in the world, the nations that make up the UK are not perfect and they have plenty of issues of their own. And well, Britain of course, nobody's perfect. And has a very turbulent past. Throughout this video, we will try to stay out of politics and keep it quite lighthearted. So way let's like kick it. off this video with number 10, the accents and language. Although most of the world thinks that the British people all sound like the Queen or news reporters, <laughs> this couldn't be any further from the truth. Yes, there are many people who speak the Queen's English, also known as received pronunciation. However, with so much history and different regions across the UK, you will find many different accents and dialect. From Scouse in Liverpool to Geordie in Newcastle to Glaswegian in Glasgow, every accent sounds completely different from one another. You can literally drive 30 to 60 minutes away from where you live and you will find someone with a completely different accent to your own. Bro, that's crazy to me because like in Kentucky, bro, you'd have to drive hours away to hear like a for real different accent. Like, yeah, there's like different like little variations of the same accent yeah but to hear a completely different accent you'd have to literally drive probably i don't know three four hours away that's crazy that you can just drive 30 minutes down the road and hear a different accent the uk is also extremely multicultural so you will find many different international accents across the country too number nine it's breathtaking scenery the uk is home to some of the most beautiful scenery in Sheesh. europe if not the world especially in scotland the first yeah. thing people think of when they think of the uk is probably london a huge urban concrete jungle However, wow. if you adventure outside of the capital, you'll find some absolutely stunning Bruh. countryside. The UK also has incredible beaches too, from the tropical setting in St. Ives and the Silly Islands to the pristine white sand you will find in the northwest of Scotland. You just don't think that when you think of the UK. Like, bro, I didn't, like, I just don't think of beaches and, like, beautiful, like, look at this. This right here. Hang on, hang on. UK also has incredible beaches too. From the Bruh, that looks like Miami, Florida or something. Like you just don't think about beaches like that when you think of the UK. At least for me. Like I just I don't. 
That is insane! Tropical setting in St. Ives in the Scilly Islands, to the pristine white sand you will find wow. in the northwest of Scotland. The isles off the Scottish Highlands, such as the Isle of Skye, offer some of the most breathtaking views you will ever see. Number 8. It has different countries. The UK comprises of four different nations, each with their own culture, history and dialects. And although they claim to hate each other, I think this is generally a myth which is exaggerated yeah. on social media. I've met so many incredible- So y'all let me know, do y'all really hate each other? I've never really heard that y'all hated each other, but I guess this dude thinks you do. Yeah, no, we spread love around here, don't and we? Friendly people from Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland who are very similar to me, but with just a different accent. Each country is rather similar. They usually have one or two large main cities. Ain't that the Harry Potter train? <laughs> then plenty of smaller, charming towns and villages with beautiful countryside in between. Number seven, it has London, often regarded as being one of the greatest cities in the world. Love it or hate it, you have to admit, London is one of the most important and influential cities of all time. That's facts. People from That's all facts. corners of the planet come to the UK to visit, to live or to study in London. Yes, it is busy and it's expensive, but it offers some of the most desirable jobs in the world and there is so much to do. Sure. You'll also find some of the world's most followed sports stadiums in London too. Number six, safety, climate and the wildlife. The figures from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, which ranks each member on many criteria, including safety, place the UK 11th out of 38 nations for safety. Just behind Dang. Canada, but ahead of Ireland and way ahead of the US, who are in 22nd place. They have the data to back this up too. In 2016, the UK recorded a lower homicide rate than Japan. Perhaps it's no wonder that 77% of Brits feel safe walking home at night alone. What? Wow, that's insane. That's actually crazy. I didn't know it was that safe over there. That That's actually Though pretty we dope. love to moan about the weather in the UK, we are very lucky that we don't experience extreme weather or natural disasters, such as True. droughts, tsunamis, volcanoes, or bushfires. There are very occasional mini tornadoes and very small earthquakes, but they are barely powerful enough to knock over a garden gnome. The UK <laughs> is also home to next to no deadly animals, such as bears, snakes, or spiders. So if you- What? Bro, I got three of those in my backyard right now. Huh? Y'all don't have deadly animals? Bro, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving. I never have to worry about watching my step walking in the, the field again. Bro. You are on an adventure in the countryside. This is another thing you don't oh. have to worry about. Number five, the NHS or the National Health Service. <laughs> the NHS leads the world in terms of equity of access and ensuring people don't suffer financial hardship when they are ill. It also performs well in managing long-term conditions like diabetes and kidney disease and is relatively efficient compared to other health systems around the world. The NHS usually ranks in the top 10 or 15 in the world for the best healthcare systems. Wow. Not too shabby. Number no. four, the higher education system. The World Universities listing estimates there are over 26,000 universities worldwide. Now, out of all of those, you could probably count on one hand the number that are global household names, and two of them happen to be in Britain. Wow. Yeah, Oxford and Cambridge. Y'all just, just smart, healthy, and safe over there, ain't you? <laughs> Still the creme of the crop as far as higher education is concerned. And you've also got Durham too. And the reason for their renown isn't just historical. Across the whole of Britain, the higher education education system consistently delivers some of the best results on the planet. Students travel from all corners of the planet to study in the UK. In doing so, they will also get to experience UK nightlife and the quality of life and safety that comes with it. Bro, I just want to stand up on a boat. Like, that looks dope. <laughs> castles and ruins. The UK is old as hell. Therefore, it has many ancient ruins, castles, and structures to be discovered far and wide. I, honestly, I think the castles and just like the the oldness of the UK is probably one of my favorite things about it. Like, you just don't see... You, the only castles we really got here in Kentucky are like White Castle, right? <laughs> and those don't even count. Like, bro, to just be right down the road from an actual castle is insane to me. 
In England alone, there are said to be around 4,000 castles. So if you're from a relatively new country like Australia, New Zealand or Canada or even America, then you may have never seen a castle or ancient building before. Bruh. So coming to the UK provides an authentic historical viewing. I take that back. There is like one, I don't know the name of it. There is like one castle in Kentucky, a castle. It's like a big building made of stone, but like they call it a castle. And I've seen it like once. But bro, it's nothing like that. Like it's nothing like super old and like super big like that. Number two, discovering countries and the Commonwealth. Britain created countries such as Australia, Singapore, and the USA, in which in the short space of around 300 years have become world leaders in so many aspects. No other country can claim to have created anything close to what Britain has achieved. In doing so, its legacy has continued to evolve. Much of what was once the British Empire continues to be part of the Commonwealth, an alliance of 54 nations across the world with a combined population of over 2 billion, long Jeez. after the empire has ceased to exist. Number 1. Inventions The UK invented most of the technology that the modern world runs on. The TV, the computer and the World Wide Web. Wow. And while Marconi was Italian, he developed his wireless radio transmission in the UK. The list of British inventions is endless. The UK also developed most of the world's most popular sports such as football or soccer, rugby, cricket, tennis and golf. The UK is a world leader in the arts, particularly literature and theatre. From Shakespeare to Andrew Lloyd Webber, from Chaucer to J.K. Rowling. We've also had a big impact on music, TV, movies and video games such as Harry Potter. That's a Harry Potter bridge, ain't it? I, I want, or the, the Harry Potter... Yeah, I guess it is a bridge, but the train. Or is that the same one from earlier? Somebody let me know. It looked like the same train. Bond. So there we have it. 10 reasons why we think the UK is one of, if not the best country in the world. Okay. Hey, hey, honestly, yeah, she's up there. She is definitely up there. But whenever I watch videos like this, it just it just hypes up the UK so much. It makes me want to pack my bags right now and go. But all right, guys, that is going to do it for the 10 reasons why the UK is the best country in the world. Those were some pretty solid points. I mean, there's no really debate in any of them. You're safe, smart, healthy. Uh, you, you can invent stuff and, you know, you can drink when you're 18. Sounds good to me. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. If y'all want to see more reactions like this, let me know by hitting that like button. If y'all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're less than 7,000 subscribers away from 100K. But I can't do it without y'all's support, so hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure y'all go out today. Spread love, spread kindness, do something nice to somebody today. I love you guys so much. I really do. JC Rex, I'm out. Peace. All right, Lizzie, you had your 10 minutes of fame. Get back in the closet.